a new leader at the 910th Airlift Wing sworn in today. It is an exciting time, but one match with the first full day of sequestration. Our Miriam Hobbs continues our reporting on the automatic budget cuts, and she asked the new commander how it could affect his civilian employees and our neighbors. Colonel James Dignan was greeted with a standing ovation as the new commander of the 910th Airlift Wing and installation commander of the Youngstown Air Reserve Station. He's assuming command from Brigadier General Brian Dominguez, who's returning to Georgia as vice commander. Your reputation comes, comes ahead of you. The new commander was excited to travel nearly 3,000 miles from Washington to his new position in the Valley. I'm so ecstatic to have made it out here to do this, to have this change of command, and to get Kennedy uh, to lead such a great unit. But with the excitement about his new position, also came the whispers of the sequestration and spending cuts and its effect on the Youngstown Air Reserve Station. 400 civilian employees at the base could be forced into unpaid furloughs. It's a tough decision. It's tough times for our country. Dignan says if the cuts are implemented, the 910th Airlift Wing's mission won't be greatly affected, and they plan to deal with any ramifications. As those cuts come, uh, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, luckily, through the Air Force Reserve and the 910th Airlift Wing, we have great airmen that can do great things. The new commander says his biggest worry is if Congress continues to prolong the sequestration issue. Because there are really two issues, the uh, continuing resolution and sequestration. If both of those continue to uh, turn and we don't get any resolution, then there could be some long-term effect. But right now, we don't know. Dignan hopes everything will be resolved within the next couple weeks. So right now, we don't see much more additional cuts. And we're hoping that uh, it stays with that, and that will help us keep the mission going and keep our folks trained. Miriam Hobbs, 33 News.